Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am back with a real quick video. And today I wanted to talk about something with you guys. Well, first off, I'm out here because somebody brought me a whole case of peanuts like a long time ago, and I just realized that we still had them, and they're obviously out of date, and we don't like to waste things. So instead of wasting things, usually when stuff goes bad, we'll bring it out here for the animals because obviously, hello, I mean, we live, you know, in the woods. I mean, there's a big open space here, but this is, like, the only open space. Down that way is nothing but woods. So there's lots of animals. Um, I was just recording uh, on Autumn's Walk Home, and there were, like, five or six deer over there, right over there in that field. I'll um, upload that later. But, so we like to throw out anything, you know, that's going bad or goes bad. And it'll help the squirrels because it's that time of year where they're trying to, um gather so just gonna throw these peanuts kind of scatter them everywhere so they still have to forage for them i'm not gonna just you know lay them in a pile and let them get all fat but they like to go there's a lot of squirrels that like to go in this tree right here so we're gonna get to some right there um but anyways guys hopefully i don't look too weird at this angle but um so i wanted to talk about something today and um i've been thinking about it a lot lately and hopefully this is i don't know i probably should have done a video actually sitting down talking about this because it's kind of an important topic to me at least um today i want to talk about gene site testing and honestly how it saved my life all right i had to come inside um it was just a little too uh a little too hard carrying those bags and um, talking and staying focused. Uh, Y'all know, ADD is fun. Um, so anyways, yeah, I want to talk about gene site testing today. And I want to make a video, though, about this because y'all know I love mixing and matching my eyeshadows and uh, making my own, really. And I've been taking those um, twinkle dust and I made my own eyeshadow today um with the silver twinkle dust and you can see it made this like super glittery i didn't know if it was going to work out but it actually adds just this really pretty glitter to any color so i'll have to show you guys that um but today like i said i want to talk about gene sight testing and how it saved my life really um so the issue with mental health is is there's no test out there there's no magic test where they can just take your blood or do any kind of test that can tell them what exactly is hindering you um, or what issues you have um, all you can really do is tell them what uh, symptoms you're having uh, how you're feeling um, just that kind of stuff and they just kind of have to guess um what's going on with you but they could be you know treating you for something and you have something completely opposite and you know say you have i don't know say they think that you have bipolar but you actually have um what what's the word i'm looking for they're out there playing by the way uh not sociopathy but um schizophrenia um, so they give you a, or say you have bipolar and they think you're schizophrenic. They give you a medicine for schizophrenia and you're not schizophrenic. It could send you into a spiral or it could send you off the deep end or it could, it could, cause a lot of schizophrenic people aren't always like that. Like something traumatic happens in their life or, um, when they get clean and sober or there's just different events that can happen that just like snaps it in their mind and um all of a sudden now you're schizophrenic um not saying that other medications can do that to you but you just never know what's going to set it off is what i'm saying um but they can try to treat you for what they think that you have and they could be wrong because there's just no magic wand where or no magic test where they can just tell you what what's what what is wrong with you um but what they do have and this is awesome because i didn't know about this till a few years ago and i've struggled with my mental health for a very long time these gnats are driving me insane um but it's called a gene sight test 
and it's still no magic wand. It still can't tell you exactly what's wrong with you, but what it can do is it tests your specific DNA against prescription medications. So they will take your DNA and they will match it to all these different medications and see if your particular genetic makeup will go well with this medication or go out this medication or go out this medication and it saved my life um the problem with it is insurance isn't so happy to do it because it's expensive for one and for two they want you to have already tried multiple things uh you have to have like four multiple or four failed medication attempts so you have had to have tried four different medications that did not work for you um, before they will try gene site testing for you, which is really terrible because, like I said, sometimes they're treating you for something that you don't even have, and if it's a medication that just doesn't work with your genetics, it can make things worse. It can make things a lot worse. It could set off something in your mind. It could, it could just make you suffer a mental break. Um, and that's really scary. So I really hope that one day they'll make it to where you don't have to suffer for so long because a lot of the issues about people with mental illnesses is a lot of us are also addicts and people that suffer with addiction or just mental illness, it doesn't have to be with addiction, but a lot of us like instant gratification. We want it now, we want whatever it is, we want it to be now, we want it to work now, we want to see a difference now. We don't want to wait for weeks and months to see if something's going to change. Um, and if it doesn't change within the week or so that we think it should, then it's just not working. And we're going to give up because it doesn't work anyway, so what's the point, right? Um, and that's a lot of the issues that I had with taking care of my mental health for years. I would always give the excuses of, I don't want to be a zombie, and they're just going to put me on a bunch of medications that don't even work anyway, so I'm just putting medications into my body, and, you know, I'm just going to get the bad side effects without any good side effects, and um, when you're mentally ill, your mind is fighting against you, it's literally like a battle going on inside of you every day, all day, as it is. And then, on top of that, your mind is working against you to tell you that you don't need help. That you need to stay this way. Because also, people with mental health or addiction issues, or both, um, because I've definitely noticed that mental illness and addiction, they hand in hand, man. They, they go right hand in hand. Because a lot of people self-medicate. Because... It makes them feel better. They don't have to think about their problems. They don't have to think about their sadness when they're, you know, belligerent. Um, or when you're oblivious to the world. You don't have to think about anything, let alone your mental health issues. Um, or your sadness. Or your anxiety. Or any of that. Um, so, yeah. There's just... Uh, where was I going with that? I just heard one of the kids and it, like, knocked me off. Off my path. Um, so I was talking about how we, oh, we don't, we don't like change. Um, people with mental illness and people with addiction issues, and like I said, they go hand in hand, usually, or most of the time, from what I've noticed in my experience. Um, we don't like change. We do not like, um, we're scared of it. We're terrified of it. My brother's out there, that's why they're squealing. Um, we don't like change, we don't like... We get almost... We almost find a comfort in our misery. Um, you almost become addicted to being miserable. You become comfortable with being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Um... So then when things don't work within a day or two, you're like, it, your mind tells you, oh, well, it's not going to work anyway, so you can just stop taking it, right? You don't need this. It's not going to work anyways. They're just going to try to give you another medication that isn't going to work. None of it works. And if it does work, all it's going to do is make you a zombie. But I'm here to tell you that that's not true. 
and if you are suffering, you do not have to feel the way that you feel right now. You don't, I promise.